Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your sixth ECMAScript 6 tutorial and in this video we're going to take a look at template strings. Wow. Okay then dogs, so what are template strings? Well, template strings are pretty similar to normal strings except they've got a few extra features baked in which are pretty cool. So, let's just go ahead and do an example and we'll create a variable, we'll just call this temp for template string and where we would normally define a string using quotes like that, either double or single, with template strings, we have to use backticks. Now, a backtick on my keyboard is just below the escape button at the top left, might be somewhere completely different on yours. But anyway, find that, uh, do a couple of backticks, and then we place our template string within that. So, let's just create a simple sentence first of all. I'll say, hello, my name is Ryu. All right then, so if we log this to the console, let's just say console.log, we should expect pretty much the same thing as if we were to log a normal string to the console. So let's refresh over the here and we get, hello, my name is Ryu. So all working fine so far. So one of the different things that we can do with template strings is that we can add in a line break without using the line break character. So if I come down here and just press enter and save, then a refresh, we're gonna see that line break in the console, so it's not ignored it. It doesn't ignore line breaks or white space. If I add in a new one, press refresh, that prints out as well, and even a few spaces, and we get that there as well. So template strings do not ignore uh, white space, so you can format this string however you want it to display. Right, so that's pretty cool. And okay, it might not blow you away, uh, but one of the cooler features is that we can embed expressions or variables into strings as well, which is pretty cool. So let's go through a simple example. All right, so what I'm gonna do is create a function first of all. And this function is gonna be called log ninja. And it's just gonna log some information about a ninja. And all it's gonna log is just the name and I don't know, age. So let's go ahead and take in a name variable and an age variable. So Right now, what I'm gonna do is console.log my, oops, my name is, and then I'll do this how we would normally do it in JavaScript. We concatenate the variable. My name is name, then concatenate again, and my age is, and we're gonna concatenate, let's just return to the next line so you can see it, the age variable. So if I call this function now, by saying log ninja and then passing in the name as um, Ryu and the age as 24, then we should see this display in the console. My name is Ryu and my age is 24. Okay, now with template strings, instead of all this uh, concatenation, we can just embed the variables into the template string, which is a lot easier and better in my opinion. So we use the back ticks instead. And then all we're gonna say is, my name is, and then when we embed a variable or an expression, we need to pop down in a dollar sign and then two curly braces like that. And then we place the expression in between, okay? So first of all, we want the name variable. That's what we're inserting. And then, and my name, sorry, and my age is, we do the same thing for the age variable, dollar sign, and then the variable embedded right there. So if we save this, this should do pretty much the same thing. My name is Ryu and my age is 24. But this looks a lot more elegant and uh, it's just better, in my opinion, to do. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And instead of passing variables through here, we can also pass through any old uh, expression such as um, 10 plus 9, like that. Let's just return this to the next line so you can see it. My, my age is 10 plus 9. In fact, we'll do that. So if I save that now, my name is Ryu and my, uh, my age is 19. It's evaluated this mathematical addition and it's just uh, output the result there. Okay, so that is pretty cool. And uh, that's how we use template strings. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in the very next tutorial.